This video talks about this particular question from Biostat, which says that decrease in false negative rate affects which of the following values? Positive predictive value, negative predictive value, sensitivity, or specificity. So let's take a quick look at a graph which deals with all these. Now when we draw a graph like so, Imagine this is going to be our diseased graph. So this is disease. And this is going to be our healthy. Now let's talk about um, the true positive, the true negative, which re regions are which. Now anything that is falling under this area is going to be true negative anything which is falling under this area sorry not that this area is going to be our true positive what does true positive and true negative mean true positive means all the all the results where the person is diseased, so they're diseased positive, and the test result can pick up this diseased positive people. This means that all the people who are healthy can be picked up with this particular test that we are doing, that these people are healthy. Now what about this gray area where it deals with, where there is overlap between diseased and healthy. Now when we are talking about this graph or when we're talking about diseased, this region is going to be our false negative. What does false negative mean? False negative means that these people are actually diseased but the test result is showing that they're not. So they're, they're showing up as negative, where really they're positive. So they're false negative. Again, these test results are coming out as negative, but in reality, they're positive. So that's where there is a double negative, false negative. Now, what about the other one? What about um, false positive? Whenever we're talking about this graph, the healthy graph, this shaded area now is going to be our fa false positive. False positive means that they're showing up as they're positive. They're showing up as, that, as if they're diseased, but really they're not. They're healthy. Now let's go back to our original question, which said um, let me change the color here, which said that if negative, if false negative, sorry, if false negative rate decreases, which of the following values are affected? Now, if false negative decreases, mathematically, it's going to affect, so this is our Disease positive, disease negative, test positive, test negative, A, C, B, and D. Now, when we're talking about false negative, mathematically, it's going to affect sensitivity because sensitivity is equal to A by A plus C and also is going to affect negative predictive value because negative predictive value deals with D by D plus C. Then what about specificity and positive predictive value? Specificity and positive predictive value is already ruled out because specificity and positive predictive value doesn't deal with our C value, which is our false negative. By the way, if this is false negative, A is going to be our true positive, D is going to be our true negative, 
B is going to be our false positive. So mathematically, it makes sense that either sensitivity or ne negative predictive value is going to be affected. Because if C goes down in both the equations, the top value becomes bigger. As a result, this sensitivity is going to be bigger and negative predictive value is also going to be bigger. Now both of these options are in that particular question. There is sensitivity and ne negative predi predictive value. So both these options cannot be the answer. So how can we determine? We have to go beyond mathematics. We have to go now in theory. Now let's go back to our this graph. Whenever we are talking about false negative, we are dealing with this graph, the diseased graph. We are not interested in this graph, which is the healthy graph. When it, whenever we're dealing with the healthy graph, we'll be talk, talking about false positive. Whenever we're talking about the diseased graph, we're going to be talking about false negative because whenever we're talking about the healthy graph, healthy graph has no false, uh, false negative, only the diseased graph has false negative. So remember that we're talking about false negative that correlates with diseased, false positive that correlates with healthy from this theoretical point of view. Now, when we come back to this question, we can say that A is our true positive. A plus C, actually A is going to be our true positive and C is going to be our false negative, D is going to be our true negative, again this is true negative, and C is going to be our false negative. Now let's go back to that diagram. Which one are we dealing with? We're dealing with false negative. Where does it fall in the graph? It falls right here. This is our false negative right here. Again, this is our false, it should be false negative right here. This is our false negative. Now again, when we look at this graph, we're also looking at diseased. In other words, we're also dealing with this graph where this region is our true positive. So where is our true positive? That's our true positive. That's also our true positive. Do I have true positive in this graph? No. So it seems like the two regions that we're dealing with is true positive and false negative. As a result, these are the two values that correlates to our sensitivity. So in this particular question, the answer is going to be C, sensitivity, because that's the only one that deals with false negative and true positive.